So I want to welcome you to AT671 Athletic Training Research 2. This is either the first or second um, athletic training research course that you're in to help you prepare to complete the research requirement for the Masters of Science in Athletic Training here at Augustana. So this is going to be a little bit longer of an introduction video than some because I have quite a few uh, different things to show you. But that being said, you guys will all be doing a lot of individual stuff with me as the instructor as well as uh, with your thesis chair. And I will be serving as all of your thesis chairs as well. So I'm kind of playing dual role in this. Um, once again, you guys are in different points within your preparation for this assignment. And so um, there will be obviously uh, a lot of need for us to work individually. And it's up to you to make sure that you're getting the information that you need. These videos are going to serve as the introduction to these assignments, but by no means are they meant to be completely comprehensive. If you do have questions about an assignment or about your thesis project, please reach out directly to me and we can uh, discuss those individually. So here we are at the um, Canvas page, and I'm in a student view now, and so you can see all of these are locked, and you have to work through them in order. Uh, you have your uh, to-do list on the right side that will show up with all of the due dates um, with those as well. And so the first one is this introduction video that you are watching uh, now. But before we go into that, I want to go to the syllabus page here and talk a little bit about the class format. So all of the normal introduction sort of stuff is there. You can see the descriptions, all of that as well. Here are the different assignments that you will be graded on. Um, there's a thousand total points there. Each one um, has its own descriptions and will have its own introductory videos and all that. But I do want you to notice that you will also have some of these peer review and Canvas will assign those to you after you complete the original assignment. We have the grades uh, listed there as well. But the main premise of this assignment is to work on Appendix B of our thesis. And so you can read this in your own time, but basically what we're going to spend most of the time doing in this class is our literature review. And the purpose of the literature review is to prove you have the uh, necessary background information to conduct an original research project. So depending on where you are in your research project selection will depend on um, what you need to do right away. So you can see the different assignments also listed down there as far as the bottom. And, you, and some of these assignments to begin with do some exploration. If you have absolutely no idea what you want to do your thesis on, that's something we can go ahead and get uh, started talking about here in the near future. Okay. I'm going to bring up here these athletic training research requirements. It's got me locked for student view, so I'm going to leave the student view so I can uh, have access to all of these different files. So you can see that in the files, or if I go back and close here in the modules that you're working your way through, it is the second aspect here. So as soon as you mark that you have completed the introduction video, you will be able to bring this up as well. And so this is the uh, assignment sheet now for your entire research project. And so you have this class, and then you'll have two more classes uh, your final year in the program that we are working on specifically 
this thesis process. But we are going to be doing a uh, manuscript style thesis, which will become more important in further classes, but that's a lot easier. So when you're looking at different thesis processes with that, a lot of them are divided into chapters, and that's the traditional thesis or dissertation process. We're doing a manuscript one, so instead we have appendices. We're mainly going to be working on Appendix B here um, uh, this term. But looking at this, right, the requirements for your project, it needs to be a piece of original research with that. So we're going to be doing something that hasn't been done before, either collecting new data or some other form of aspect. You need to get this approved by me. So um, some of these assignments early on will have some uh, ideas uh, with that. Um, one of the first assignments you'll do is just an idea statement, and that'll serve as your approval with that. But if you have any questions on whether or not you, that is a good project, please let me know. All right, so here is the overview. And we will go through each of these different assignments, as you can see here, and work your way through. But if you have any questions or anything comes up that you need um, help with, please let me know. You do have some readings. These readings are from a book that's out of print, so I've included the chapters in there for you. Um, the readings are there to give you additional guidance as well. There are no tests or anything in this class, so you don't need to worry about that, but they do serve as good resources to help you complete the assignments. The assignments are all going to be due uh, on Sunday nights. Uh, at the end of the week. Um, and so you'll have each new week, you'll have new assignments uh, to be working towards. So work your way through. Everything should be on your to-do list as well as you know your complete items as you mark these things with done or submit them. You will get these green check marks on there and you're making your way through. Again, if you have any questions, it's important for you in this um, in this class to reach out directly to me and uh, get your questions answered. Um, that's all I've got for this introduction video. Uh, have a great day.